Hi everyone, so today I created this really fun and of course not very wearable look that you can wear for Christmas if you want to. It's very colourful, it's definitely not for the faint of heart and if you want something wearable then you can watch the previous tutorial and if you want to see how I created this then keep on watching. The first thing I did was prime my lids and I used this MUA Brighten eye primer and I just blended it all in onto my eyelids. This just makes the eyeshadow stick in better and tacky and then I am just going to set that primer using some translucent powder. This is from NYX and yeah, this is their HD finishing powder which I have been really enjoying using and then this is the star of the show today. This is the Pat Retro Matte Lip Gloss, which is actually a matte lipstick. Um, in the shade 16, it's a very warm toned bright red and I'm using that as an eyeliner today. I did that on a lip brush and drew a nice winged eyeliner. Then I am taking this Parath and Doris Clear Lip Gloss and I'm applying that all over my eyelid. You can use any clear lip gloss that you have and I'm going to use that as a base for the glitter as you can see uh, I think lip glosses work really well especially when I have to apply a lot of glitter and this just does the trick okay now I am going to apply this warm eyeshadow as a transition color you can use like a nice warm brown eyeshadow you can use whatever you already have and I'm just going in very lightly I'm going lightly because I don't want the glitter to spread it's very difficult especially when it comes to blending and you already have glitter then I'm going to take this emerald green eyeshadow from this palette called Bombay Jewels from Studio West. You can buy this at Westside if you want to. And then, yeah, I just apply that on my crease and then I'm using a fluffy blending brush to blend it in. Mind you, it's very, very, very pigmented. You need very little of it, so be careful. Then I'm going to take this Essence Eye Pencil that I very recently Got. I think this is called grassland green or something anyways it's all going to be down below and I applied that on my waterline followed by this NYX jumbo pencil in green I think it's called sparkle green or something and then I took this eyeshadow called PP56 from PAC it's a nice cool toned green and I applied that all over my lower lashes I think I didn't film the part where I applied PP02 on my inner corner I made it really icy it's gonna get cleaned up later on when I apply concealer so don't don't be alarmed I also applied this false lashes from back that was number 41 and then I blended both the falsies and my natural lashes using this mascara for my bottom lashes I am using the usual I need you guys to comment down below which mascara this is and then I just took a wet tissue and I am just cleaning any fallout and then to prep my skin I used this Clinique Pep Start Hydro Blur Moisturizer uh, to begin with and then I went ahead and took this foundation that I very recently got you must have seen this in my Nykaa haul this is from MUA and it's very thick and very very high coverage so I'm just using that today and I'm using like a nice buffing brush to blend it all over my skin. Next, I took this Essence Match to Cover Cream Concealer in the shade Soft Beige. And I didn't really need a lot of it, but I'm just using that to clean that excess iciness that I have going around on that inner corner. And then I just took the finishing powder once again and applied that all over my face just to set everything in and make sure it wasn't very tacky. Um, yeah, this is... Like you can use this powder everywhere. It's really nice. Oh, and then to contour, I actually took this um, shade called 
espresso from LA Girl and I applied that underneath my cheekbones and then I used this oval brush from back. I forgot what these are called but they're very handy especially when you want to contour precisely. Yeah, really nice. And then this one is again from my Nykaa haul. This is the Essence Blush Up uh, Blusher. Yeah, that's, that's what it's called, right? Blusher. Is that even a word? Anyway. I'm applying that all over my cheekbones. I really like the rosy tint that it leaves. And for highlight, you guys guessed it, it is the Oddbo Vivid Baked Highlighter. I obviously had to use this because I don't feel like using any other highlighter as of now. And I use that like all over my face basically. I wanted my face to be really dewy. And then I went ahead and paired um, my eyes with the same red lipstick that I used as uh, eyeliner. I thought I was really struggling to find a lipstick to wear. And then I realized, oh my god, I should just wear the same lipstick. And it just made my eyes stand out. Yep. That's like a slow-mo shot of my eye look. I hope you guys like it. And then I went and got a little cray-cray with my reindeer headband. This is from my mom. She got this for me, so I thought I should just use this. And actually, this look was very inspired by this headband. And yeah, this is the finished look. I think it turned out okay. I hope you guys like it. That's it. Thank you. Merry Christmas in advance. Bye.